Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. Canon has released the Canon 320EX Speedlight. There it is right there. And the big innovation with this new 320EX, this little gem, is it has a built-in LED light for video. It's a first in, uh, in uh, flash and speed lights. Uh, pretty cool. I want to get one. Uh, so basically, um, it's got the built-in LED, um, and you can use it, it says, can be used to eliminate nearly uh, nearby subjects in dim light, especially useful when shooting video as a modeling light or as an AF assist beam with live view, uh, providing up to four hours of continuous lighting with fully charged AA batteries. Pretty cool. I'm excited to see how bright this actually is. A lot of us have been using uh, the Lowell ID light or other LED lights to do uh, some video lighting, um, even for photography. So this is really cool in the sense of you can now have that built right in with your flash and don't have to go to another piece of equipment. Uh, basically, the 320 supports ETTL2 and ETTL. doesn't look like it supports TTL, the old standard. Um, has a guide number of 79 feet at 24 meters at ISO 100. So it falls in below the... Um, 430EX2 for, for power. Uh, it's light and compact, 4A batteries, fast recycle time of up to two seconds. Uh, approximate number of flashes, 180 to 1,000. I guess they're, they have to put that, that, that spread in there. It's quite a spread, obviously. It depends on if it's at full pop or if it's only using a partial burst from your flash. Um, flash coverage with an EF lens is 24 millimeters or 50 millimeters with an EFS lens is 15 millimeters. Uh, it's got manual switching as well. It's uh, recycling time is 0.1 to 2.3 seconds. So very good recycling time. It has a wireless slave function, uh, supports three groups and four channels. So you can put this off camera, use it as your wireless slave, um, which is really nice. Um, you can, uh, can definitely uh, take advantage of that for superior lighting, make your video, your uh, photos look better. Um, the uh, effective range is 13.1 uh, feet, four meters at center. Uh, the LED light is also 13.1 feet or four meters. It says that uh, it's compatible with the ES5D Mark II and later, probably because it's a newer type light. Um, they're not guaranteeing backwards compatibility that way. Now there's an asterisk here, but I don't see where the asterisk is linked to. So that may just be for the LED modeling light, probably because of the video function. Um, it's 2.8 by 4.5 by 3.1 inches, and it weighs 9.7 ounces or 275 grams. So <clears throat> all in all, a really great little uh, light just come out from Canon, the 320X. EX. It's uh, the big thing, the built-in uh, LED light. I'm really excited about that. Um, it's got uh, vertical and horizontal bounce capability. It has uh, the, the uh, function, the flash release function for um, the wireless. And actually the new flash release function, it says, triggers the camera wirelessly from the flash on a two-second delay. So that's new. That's kind of cool. Uh, wire And the wireless slave function so basically, um, some really good reasons to consider this as an economical flash, especially for off-camera. If you want it as one of your remotes, they're cheaper than the other ones, so you can pick up more, so have more remotes off-camera. And the built-in LED light, really excited about that. So anyways, that's the Canon 320EX in a nutshell, folks. Check it out. Um, we'll be back soon. I'll do a comparison against the 430 and... Um, you can see what the differences are there and whether you would want the 430 or the 320. For me, I'm just peaked about this LED light. Anyways, thanks for tuning in, folks. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back soon with more video posts, more articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography. Thanks.